Well, yeah, I gotta turn around. I gotta grab the flyers. The signs aren't ready, unfortunately. Well, they're ready, but they're not there. He says he needs a couple hours to go pick them up, so I'm assuming there's another print shop that Steve uh, from Sin Sinfield uh, Design, um, he's the owner, Steve Sinfield, Sinfield Design. He does up all our, like, our signs, um, you know, artwork for the uh, pickup trucks, things like that. And then Impressions Printing does our printing, like, flyer, uh, paper, paper products, you know, business cards, all that stuff. So, anyways, uh, so I'm headed back, but I don't act actually have to go into the village. I can, uh, I can do a little loop-de-loop -loop here and, uh, um not have to go into the main part of town because it's getting busy there and every idiot and his grandmother's out. I've already had a guy pass another guy on the, uh, on the you know, on the port side of me and near hit me. And uh, so anyway, I'd swerve, I on purposely swerved toward him because I mean, he, he like, he's on a double line and then, um, you know, we got another ass clown here. Good God. Blondie, yeah, I guess you are. Drive like that. Anyways, uh, I guess it's too much to ask to do the speed limit. Um, yeah, this guy, I, I didn't catch the name on the side. It's a company car. Anyways, uh, I don't like being dial a rat, but in that case, that was like, you know, so like as soon as he slid in, like, I mean, he was hit, like, within 100, less, no, 100 feet, what am I talking about? 25 feet ahead of me. So I swerved to scare him, and uh, I think I did. So he'll remember me. Anyways, uh, yeah, just just complete stupidity. God, I remember why I don't, uh, I don't get out here very much. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. A peak performance roofing. You're obviously not performance on your vehicle. <laughs> uh, this is kind of going one way and then coming back the other way, but then I'll just go the back way home. Or, well, home. Yeah, home. Oh, shit. I still got to go to Lanark. I keep forgetting. This is turning into a circle jerk here now. I got frozen food on board, so I don't want to... What in the fuck? He waits to the last second to throw the fucking... Oh, man. Now I'm going to have to drive all the way back. I thought there was a turn that I could do here before Tay Valley. Ah, well, I guess we're going to have a little drive today. Oh, wait a minute. Am I allowed to turn in left here? No, that goes into this guy's yard. I don't think I'm allowed to do that. No, that's private. Yeah, you don't get to, I don't get to do things like that. <laughs> or I wouldn't do it anyways. God, all these big billboard signs. Uh... Jesus, this is farther than I thought it was. to blow a head gasket here. I should have gone the Perth way. <gasps> it's just there's no easy way to get to that road either from that way. It's like I'd be sitting in traffic just as long as doing this, but at least I'm not using gas, I guess. Yeah, I'm really not happy about this situation with the money thing. Turning. 
probably one of these new to the country drivers that have no fucking idea. No, he's still going straight, but he's got a left turn signal on. And uh, he's not doing the speed limit by any means. He's got two vehicles behind him. Yeah, newcomers to the country that are handed a driver's license they shouldn't have. So I won't pick on anybody in particular, but you guys uh, have eyes when you're on the highway. These guys are something fucking else. They jammed three drivers into a truck. They don't even stop. And there was one truck, I, I can't remember if it was here in Canada, the States. They'd actually cut a hole so they could piss out the fucking hole rather than stopping the truck. Hey guys, it takes less than two minutes to take a piss. Really? You're really going to do that? But this is the problem. These people come here from other countries, and I got no problem with that. But I mean, like, don't act like animals like you did in your old country. You're in a civil, well, semi-civilized country. And, uh, but I mean, like, wow. But I mean, the driving, bad driving stuff I see, almost invariably it's not someone that is from here originally as a truck driver. I'm not talking about a young lad that was born, let's say, to East Indian parents or something. He's born here, you know, he goes through all the usual shit like everybody else here, and then he becomes a truck driver or whatever have you. No, these are already adults that were supposedly truck drivers in their country, and it's a bullshit license, and even if it was, they don't have the same training as the truck drivers are supposed to have here. So we get these clowns on the road that are just absolute dangers to human beings, period. So... Anyways, anyways, all right, well, we had, uh, we're almost, uh, well, not almost, but, so now I'm going back all the way back this way, but I don't have to go into Perth because the printing is on the edge of Perth, so I can go in there, pick them up, turn around, and, uh, Go back the same way, and then I'll go over to Harper Road, Harper Road all the way down. Then I got to go into Lanark because I got to get uh, bread for myself, and my mother needs uh, her favorite thing in the world butter tarts, but without raisins in them. So I might pick up a pack of those myself, actually. They're really nice with ice cream. Central Smith ice cream, seasonal rhubarb, farm fresh eggs. Boy, you got a little store going on there now. I'm going to have to start making my way to these little stores for meat and stuff like that. It's just the price for meat and everything is ridiculous. So. As I've been saying and complaining about it, it's just unbelievable. So. You know, and you got to do the math because well, gas actually went down uh, down to dollar fifty two down to a dollar fifty two a liter. For you Americans, that's over six dollars a gallon. And uh, um, so, I mean, I kind of, I kind of have to like if I go to Carl, like my mother needs from this one store um, just a one thing. But I mean, it's, you know, a bunch of boxes I got to get, like with these pies in them that she likes. But do I spend the $20 in gas? What else can I get there? You know, so right now, nothing. But um, uh, frozen cauliflower that she wants, the only place I'm going to be able to get that maybe is the same place she wants the pies. So at that point, it becomes worth it. And uh, the other thing is... Uh, my milk will be at the bigger bigger independent in our own place so it might actually be worthwhile going so I have to get in here quickly because uh, Linda the lady that is our new contact here at the printing shop has to be out of here by one o'clock so it's 1235 so she's got lots of time lots of time is that uh, I guess I can park there right not going to be with five minutes anyway. I'm not going to stand around and talk to her like I did Rose because I don't, well, I mean, I can't say because I don't know her, but I mean, um, um, you know, Rose is a down easterner. I told you about her. She does the 
painting of the feathers and stuff like that so and it's an official thing because uh, the government has to approve what she's using I'm so surprised when she's using that. okay I'll see you guys in a few minutes